So we are back. You guys know this is my home turf. Charles City Dirt Riders right here all the time. It's great to be out here and riding. We decided we were gonna come out here and uh, we hit the trails and all that stuff too, but I wanted to make this video about the turn track. This guy, uh, what Bob has done with this place and his crew is awesome. They put in this, this ridiculous turn track and it couldn't have been it, it, at the most perfect time because I'm really trying to figure out how to corner well on flat turns. You know, the race season is all crazy and everything's going on with, with this uh, coronavirus, COVID-19 bullshit and everything. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happening with the race season. They opened Virginia up and then they closed it right back down. Uh, a couple races went on in West Virginia and then yeah, uh, things were trying to happen in Virginia here for us. Uh, and today, I just got word, today is the 5th, June 5th. I just got word that... Um, the next round of VCHSS was canceled, which was Arrington and Oak Ridge, the Jester race, and uh, that's disappointing because we we're going to try and make that one. But either way, we still have a lot of stuff that we can practice on, we can work on, and we can make great videos on and discuss. So today, what we decided to do was we were going to focus on this flat turn track because it is completely flat and it is nothing but turns. You have a couple of high speed straights and, and a lot of uh, really, really technical turns here because the track not only goes from what here is single track, it goes into like a, a double track type form and it goes back into single track when it comes in, in and out of these turns and there's ruts and there's divots and there's rocks. I mean, there, there's all kinds of uh, different things that you have to look out for and you have to prepare for in order to set up to come in and out of these turns um, and, and try to keep your momentum and try and keep your speed going. And the main reason why I'm doing this is so I can get better at these sharper turns while I'm in a race setting in a single track type of race like we do at Air Scrambles and Enduros and all that stuff you guys are well aware of. And I really need to get better at it because it really, I'm just trying to shave seconds off of my laps because seconds counts as minutes and overall and uh, basically you're gonna catch somebody that's in front of you. Now the best thing, what I'm really looking forward to with this, and I'm gonna hit this turn track probably a hundred more times uh, over the next couple months, is it's gonna get me out of locking my rear wheel up and just sliding it out of these corners like I normally do. It's gonna make me actually prepare for the turn and smoothly engage it in and out and pick a line choice and, and really could probably gain some speed doing so because they're smooth turns. They're not 90 degree angles. They're not uh, really sharp corners like we see in the races sometimes. Um, it, it really, I just want to get a lot more smooth, a lot more flow into my line choice, which is I mean, mainly the reason we're out here doing this. But the biggest problem we ran into, obviously, is uh, <laughs> in a few minutes here, it, it, my brakes just started acting funny, and then um, you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen.
So the brakes ended up building some kind of unnecessary pressure under them and uh, completely just locked up. So we made the choice to decide right back to the truck because you're only a couple hundred, few hundred yards away from the truck. We were gonna try and make a straight line as much as possible. Uh, sorry, Bob, if you're watching this, we kind of just ran through the field. Uh, the, the, the brakes were not forgiving. So we decided uh, this was probably the best thing to do because we couldn't push the bike. There's no way the wheel's locked up. So give a little bit of throttle, the wheel will move. And um, here we are coming back to the truck. <laughs> So you guys can see uh, the brakes are smoking. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with them. And Derek, meanwhile, is on the track. And I can hear, uh, I'm listening to his bike run around and he actually uh, whiskey throttled pretty bad. So I was a little concerned. And one guy said, are you all right? So I ran over to him to see what was going on. And uh, this is what happened. Uh, yeah, that's probably broken. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's you're usually straight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you should probably have it looked at. You can still ride, right? <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. The brakes were stuck. Brand new pads, the first ride with them. Uh, I bled the lines out and everything worked fine for a while. <laughs> it just stuck. So I took a little pressure off of them out of that. Seemed to be acting all right for right now. Let's, uh, let's see. Stupid turn track. Derek broke his finger. Sometimes my camera doesn't rotate correctly when I flip it upside down and right side up. And uh, this is one of those times it didn't rotate. I apologize for inconvenience because it's such a small little screen right now. But this is what I got. So update on Derek's broken finger, everything is good to go. It was broken, it's pretty terrible. I'll leave a link to the description of his video of it uh, down below. So everything seems okay, everything's working right. I appreciate you guys watching. If you made it this far, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. We have a lot of really good content coming up. Me and the Sicilian race team are going to go out to Bud's Creek. We're gonna race some motocross track out there and uh, hit some of the trails, show you guys all about that. And until next time, I'm Tim Westmoto, and I'll see you on the starting line.